This is an innov innovation that I've come up with. Um, we brand it uh, Flexi Biogas Solutions or Flexi Biogas Systems. Um, an easy way to understand how and why they work is to just imagine that the system, the envelope which you can see inside the digester, is the synthetic stomach of a cow. Um, the cow has got particular bacteria inside its, its stomach that when it chews the grass, um, the bacteria will then break that food down into minerals of which the intestine will absorb. In the process of doing this, the, the bacteria release a very large volumes of methane gas, which is combustible, which is what we desire, which is what the whole biogas um, story is all about. This system takes about a day to install, 12 hours, a normal uh, uh, working day. It will kick into gear and start producing gas immediately. You will get usable volumes of gas within about four or five days. Within a week, you're going to be running at the um, optimum capacity of the, of the device. And the system is very efficient in that you actually have to tone down. You have to stop loading it with, 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 with um, slurry because it will produce more gas than you, than you would normally require. The envelopes are made of um, PVC tarpaulin, mm -hmm. industrial grade. So they are very, very robust. Their shelf life would be um, exposed to the elements around 10 years. The greenhouse fabric is a um, UV filter used in commercial greenhouse all over the world. It has a shelf life of between 15 and 20 years. They basically are like big tank systems and they have an inlet and an outlet. But in order for them to, to work efficiently and actually not to block, is they must have forms of agitation. So when you agitate your slurry, which is the substrate inside the digester, what you're asking for is new input to be mixed with uh, what's leaving the chamber, the exhausting um, slurry, which means that you are constantly losing undigested uh, food for the bacteria. With all of these considerations we took into account, we have now what we call a cross-flow system, where you feed it from one end and it will flow across the tube and out the other side. So as it's flowing across the tube, it is um, digesting and it will fully break down. So what comes out is actually just dissolved, it's just dissolved minerals. Mm -hmm. There's no more fermentation going on, the food value has been exhausted and it actually is what the intestine would have done by absorbing those minerals, the roots of a plant do exactly the same thing. And in terms of the capacity, because the retention period of the slurry is so short in the system, because of the greenhouse raises the temperature, you're going to get all of your energy out of the slurry in such a short window of time that you get very, very large volumes. The system is also expandable mm -hmm. in that because the cost is so low, when you do reach your, when you realize that you've got to the limit of your, the capacity of your system, it's, you, because it's, not, it's, not, it's a portable system, you can pass it on and then invest in, in the larger system. These systems will convert 20 kilos of animal dung, cow dung, into about between 700 and 1,000 liters of cooking gas, which is enough gas for an average family of four to six members. If you have more, most cows will give you 40 kilos, 30 to 40 kilos of dung. So you will always have more gas than you require if you load all of the cow dung, especially in the um, zero grazing unit type farming methods we use here. With that excess gas, you can now run generators, you can run shaft cutters, you can run water pumps, um, which is why we call it a total energy solution. So, you know, with as little as one cow, you, you're you on the map. You can be online with your, you know, computer charging. Once you've got power, you've got everything. So you've got your biogas. Most all conventional um, LPG appliances can be converted to run on biogas. So we're not inventing the wheel as far as, as far as the applications are concerned, we're just modifying them to run on the biogas.